Oh. All right. Let's see if we can catch ourselves back on the break. The black. Try to play a little bit faster than last time. Okay, this got the Chalops defense. Defending the pawn like this when you play e5. And I'm, it looks very counterintuitive, but it's very nice. Because uh, it gets your opponent out of theory, so to say. Okay, he plays this. Interesting. Let's attack the pawn. That seems very logical. Develop a bishop. And take your time for the rest. Like, if someone plays the king's in, king's Indian, king's gambit, usually you're much better. So I assume that we are much better right now, you two. Just play a6, because that's, I guess, in the spirit of the position. He takes. No, you know, g5 always seems good. Because it makes room for the knight, which later can go to f4. And it's maybe a prospect of g5, g4. I guess a plan for white would be to play c3 and queen a4. But he goes instead for the plan to attack the knight. Mm. Which will just remaneuver to f4. C3. My best guess here is to put the knight on the scary square. Yes, we're kind of like stopping the bishop from, you know, controlling squares, but they're still indirectly controlled. So that's nice. Maybe play a6, bishop g7, and then castles. Everything seems okay here. And look at this pieces, like they're all on the back rank, so we're definitely having a better position here. His only upside here is this nice pulse change that he has, but after f6 we break it down and everything should be fine. Queen e5. Really? What's the point? So instead of developing a piece, he decides to develop a queen um which kind of uh pins this pawn so this bishop is undefended and maybe a target that's the only reasoning i can find at the moment and maybe to instigate me to play crazy just now that's also an option which, of course, I will not indulge in. I guess he wants to go knight d3. Knight c5. But then we always have bishop here. But that reminds us to not maybe go bishop a h6 or g7 in these type of structures. I want to develop a piece. I think the most useful now is to develop the rook. Okay, he goes for it. And maybe he just goes here now or here. 
I want to play a5. Because there's really not that much to do in this position. That feels like a good move. There's also a6. But I'm not sure about a6. Because it weakens g6 a little bit. No, it's actually not that bad. Because it instigates if h4 as a natural move, and then you can have jumps like that. And now a5. I, I really want to delay bishop there, because I'm going to take here anyways. Exactly. And then play something like... Um, queen e7? To really attack those weaknesses. Because this is both a weakness now. Yeah, let's do it. Don't see why. Not this is still like we have to keep an eye on this queen though. Like it's it's a dumb queen, but it's a strong queen. I think c5 is an option, but I think we just take there. Okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Because I guess he wants to play this. But this is a check though. So I don't really get. Don't really get it. I just gained a pawn. And maybe another one. Maybe even another one. Like he has to get his bishop out that. I just realized I'm attacking a rook. Oops. So, he took a pawn. Oh my. Um, cool, like if takes, you can't even retake as this. So, I guess, yeah. And then we can play this. Take this knight, knight e2. Hmm. And then I maybe I have like here. And I takes takes. This is still defended twice in that case. I can also take another pawn, but we're already up a lot of material. You can also play this. If rook takes, I always have this. Yeah. Rook open fall. If the knight moves, he's doomed. We can also move this. If takes, he's doomed. Everything is doomed. If rook b1, then we take here. I really don't see uh, a way for whites to get out of it. And he resigns. Very, very understandable. Says this is really bad. All right, that was the game. I really think this was played flawlessly. Um, as does I don't know. Let's see. All right, the shelf defense. We play d five. He goes back. G5 is apparently the best move. But we don't care. But the second best move. Apparently G5 again. But you develop a piece that's never bad, right? Again, G5, but... And now we apparently hit him. G5. Knight E1 wants to attack our knight, but we just go back to just go forwards. And after Queen here... Yeah, you wonder what he is doing. So you just continue developing pieces. In this case, we're developing pawns because we want to delay developing the bishop because we don't want to lose the tackle. 
if I moved here, for instance, and have to take here, I felt like I moved. I, I lost some time or something. Like, I could, I could have brought my pawn here. Like, now if I boo this, he has this. And then it's a bit different, it felt to me. So, yeah. That's why I did it in this position. And now the position has changed dramatically. Thunder the pawn, thunder another pawn. He sacrificed not in the right way. And then I decided to just jump in the position and it was over. Kind of. Queen F3. Apparently it keeps you in the game. And apparently then you can snatch up pawns. Very short game, 23 moves. But um, yeah, still decent, I says. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.